Social Science Journal for Kids presents Does Education Affect How Long We Live? Read by Maria Fernanda Vega Abstract What good does an education do you? Research shows that it can lengthen your life expectancy. Studies from all over the world have shown this. People who receive more schooling tend to live longer than people with less education. But no one had calculated the size of this effect before. We analyzed hundreds of studies on education and life expectancy. Our results show that the risk of death drops by nearly 2% with each additional year of education. We found that education decreases mortality risk in people of all ages and social demographic backgrounds. Our findings show just how much education contributes to a person's health and longevity. Receiving an education is as good for your health as eating your vegetables. Introduction. Lots of factors contribute to how healthy a person is. Some of these are obvious, like the medical care they receive. But some less obvious factors can be even more important. Social determinants of health are the non-medical factors that impact your well-being. These are the personal circumstances that shape your daily life. Some examples include access to food, housing, health care, social support, and education. Research shows that social determinants of health have a big effect on our health. They also contribute to health inequities. For example, getting more education leads to better employment, higher income, and access to health care. And all of these improve overall health. So people with more education tend to have higher life expectancies than people with less education. We knew from other studies that more education is associated with longer lives, but no one had calculated exactly how much longer. We wanted to figure out how much mortality risk goes down with each year of schooling. In other words, how does education lower a person's risk of death? Of course, everyone still dies, but a lower mortality risk means a higher chance of a long life. Methods. First, we reviewed previous studies that looked at education and mortality. We searched seven databases of scientific studies from around the world. We gathered all the studies on this topic published between 1980 and 2023. In total, we identified 603 studies from 59 countries. In Figure 1, you can see how we reviewed and analyzed 603 studies from 59 countries around the world. You can see the countries with at least one study included in the meta-analysis in purple and countries that were not part of the meta-analysis in white. Next, we conducted a meta-analysis. We combined and analyzed the results from all these studies. We wanted to measure how education affected mortality risk. We also looked at differences in the effect of education at different ages. Finally, we checked the effect of education across social demographic index levels. This is a measure of a country's social and economic development. Results. We found that getting more education lowers mortality risk. With each year of education, an adult's risk of death goes down by 2%. In Figure 2, you can see how each year of education received reduces the mortality risk of adults. On average, how much is the risk of mortality reduced for a person with 12 years of schooling compared to someone who never went to school? This effect is greater in younger adults than in older ones. 
but even people over 70 years old benefit from the positive effects of education. When we looked at countries at different stages of social and economic development, we didn't find different results. This suggests that more years of schooling leads to longer lives in both rich and poor countries. Discussion. Our results show that receiving more education can help people live longer. But how do the effects of education compare to other health-related behaviors? We found that not going to school at all is as bad for your health as drinking five or more alcoholic drinks per day or smoking 10 cigarettes a day for 10 years. On the other hand, Receiving 18 years of schooling is as good for your health as eating the ideal amount of vegetables or getting the recommended level of physical activity. Education can provide a pathway to better health and a longer life. But not everyone has the same access to schooling. This contributes to inequities in health and mortality. We think world leaders should promote opportunities for people to go to school. With increased access to education, people around the world could live longer, healthier lives. Conclusion Getting an education is one way you can take care of your health. You can think of your education as an investment in your future health and well-being. It may be as important as eating healthy foods and getting regular exercise. What are some strategies you can think of to help your friends stay motivated at school? Thank you for listening to this recording. This work has been adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the Lancet Journal, published in January 2024. Research conducted by IHME chain collaborators. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Please visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.